Well, here we are in a graveyard in Suffolk. And while we're here, I thought I'd tell you something that happened to me. I was in my very own ghost story and I didn't know it. It's a few years ago now and uh, at Summer Layton Hall, not far from here, guests had been invited to come on Halloween. They had a medium and they had some paranormal investigators and they had me, a storyteller. Well, some people went off with the paranormal investigators. They were looking for the lady on the stair, the grey lady, I think. Some went with uh, the medium and there were a few ghosts, but they were up in the attic uh, because there were some children. Uh, their presence had been, had been spotted, so they'd been seen. Uh, footsteps had been heard and toys had been moved, upsta moved upstairs. And I took the remainder and out we all went, made our way through the maze, which was not the easiest of things to do. But once we'd got there, they sat in the little, uh, it was called a pagoda type thing. And I was outside telling stories. So there we were for half an hour. It was peeing down the rain. But got through, told my stories, led them all back safely. And there we were inside the hall. And I was leaning against the counter and other people had come back from, you know, their visits. And one chap sidled up to us and he, uh, he said, are you the storyteller? And I said, yeah, yeah, just had a bunch of people in the maze telling stories. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, uh, well, I was up with the medium uh, in the attics, you know, uh, there was a few of us. And uh, one woman said to the, to the medium, uh, ooh, you know, do you feel the presence of the children here? You see, there's meant to be a, a little boy and a little girl. Well, the medium apparently looked back and she said, well, I don't know where the little boy is, but the little girl, she's in the maze, listening to the storyteller. <laughs>